everyone, it's Susanna here with Health Ed Solutions, and today's lesson is on heart murmurs, common causes, part of our heart murmur series. Don't forget to visit us online at healthedsolutions.com for more free content. Now, let's get started. Stiff valves are a major cause of heart murmurs. Historically, rheumatic fever was a serious infection that could leave the heart valve scarred, even in young children. Today, in parts of the world without access to antibiotics, rheumatic fever is still a common cause of stenotic valves. Although stenotic valves can and do occur on both sides of the heart, I am focusing here on the left side of the heart. Aortic stenosis causes the left ventricle to have to build up excessive tension in order to eject blood. The valve resists opening, then finally pops open with a click, which is followed by a rushing crescendo as blood is ejected, then a decrescendo as pressure drops off. The stiff valve doesn't necessarily close with the typical S2 sound either. In fact, S2 might be completely absent because the valve moves so stiffly. Mitral stenosis means that the blood in the left atrium builds up abnormally until finally the mitral valve snaps open, allowing ventricular filling. These stiff valves result in audible clicks, snaps, and crescendos. Leaky valves are what we call prolapsed, meaning they might turn partially inside out, allowing blood to flow, or we use the word regurgitate, backwards. Aortic regurgitation means that some of the blood ejected from the ventricle pours right back into the ventricle from which it was just ejected, whereas mitral regurgitation means that some of the blood that should be ejected out of the ventricle leaks back upward into the left atrium. These leaky valves are unable to keep blood flowing in the proper direction. Stretched out ventricles, such as what we see in dilated cardiomyopathy, and stiff ventricles, as seen in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, both cause audible reverberations of blood as it bounces against the ventricle walls, a galloping S3 sound, and even an S4 sound are associated with these conditions and ultimately often indicate congestive heart failure. And then there are congenital defects or anatomical abnormalities that a baby is born with. These are a classic cause of heart murmurs. Blood flow is turbulent through septal defects, otherwise known as holes in the heart, and these result in whooshing and swooshing as blood inappropriately flows from the left side of the heart to the right side of the heart. That's it for our lesson today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to please like and subscribe below.